Hello, welcome to the world of Linux. Uh, today I'm going to show you a very small trick of uh, taking your own backup. Uh, it's a very important thing that we back up our own data and I'm going to show you how to quickly do that and not to lose any of your data. So uh, I have uh, a window here uh, and I'm logged in as a user Oracle and in my Oracle's home directory which is slash home slash Oracle I have quite a few important files. I have written a lot of shell scripts. Uh, I have written, uh, see as you can see I have a shell script for database creation. I have a lot of SQL files. Uh, quite a few things, very important things I have done here and I have spent a whole lot of time uh, working on that. Uh, what I want to do now is, let me clear the screen, what I want to do now is uh, take a backup of my home directory and I'm going to use the tar command to do that. So how do I take a backup? Tar. I'm going to uh, use the flags C, V and F. Uh, I will just first type the command tar minus C, V, F and I'm going to take the backup in the temp directory. The name of my backup file is my backup dot tar. This is the name of my backup file that will get created. It is not there yet and I'm gonna take the back of my, of my entire home directory so dollar home is my home directory so this is the way I take a backup and uh, if I go ahead and do uh, run this command right now it will uh, show me all the files that are getting backed up quite a few files are there I guess it's gonna take a long time now uh, the backup is already finished and uh, let me go to the temp directory and the backup is there this is where my backup is so this is the standard thing that everybody knows what I want to show you now is a little change in the script how do you customize your backup let me first delete this uh, backup now and I will show you a little bit of customization uh, on this backup side so I am deleting this file there is no file in this directory anymore called as my backup and now I'm gonna run the same command with a little bit of a difference here and this is what I'm gonna do here date plus percent a and I have put this date command uh, within inverted quotes between what we call as ticks so this command date plus percent a is going to give me the actual day if today is Monday then it's going to give me Monday if today is Tuesday it's going to give me Tuesday and then it's going to actually have a name as Tuesday underscore my backup dot tar something like that so I just wanted to show you how you can embed one command into another command so we are actually executing the tar command but the output of the date command is embedded into the tar command and now see how the backup works so the backup is done let me go to the temp directory and if I type the ls minus lrt command I now see the backup as Tuesday and my backup so this is how you can embed one unix command into another unix command and it is done the output of one command is captured and enclosed in text and embedded into another command so that is today's trick how to capture an output of one command and use that into another i hope you have enjoyed this i will see you in the next video thank you